Hey, folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This intraday analysis video is for Tuesday, July 17th, 2012. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Dot com. All right, taking a look at the markets, what a whipsaw Tuesday today. We opened with a nice gap up. The markets sold sharply, especially when Bernanke came out testifying on Capitol Hill and talked negatively about the economy. More risk to the economy, things seem to be slowing, etc., etc., and the markets dumped out. However, after initial sharp selling and hitting the 200 MA, which is exactly where In The Money Stocks members bought the market today, the market has since reversed, has climbed all the way to new highs on the day. Beautiful up move, folks. From this low to where we currently are, the markets are up $2 on the SPY off their lows. That's basically a 20-point S&P 500 move. Monstrous reversal. Now, why did we reverse today off the 200? Well, technically speaking, it was a great level. This 200 MA, look at the fall into it, beautiful fall. But also, if the overall economy is looking weaker, the market has this way of holding on to QE3. All right, the market basically thinks the weaker things are, the more likely the Federal Reserve Chief Ben Bernanke will do quantitative easing number three, which is very possible. Ultimately, it will happen according to everything I'm seeing, and uh, the market sees that and reversed beautifully on it. The dollar started to come in after the dollar spiked on his initial comments, and the rest is history. Market goes inverse to the uh, dollar. So dollar goes up, market goes down, which is what happened earlier today, and then the dollar reversed a little bit. And therefore, the market has surged to the upside. Great move, though. I mean, there were some great trades today. Today was probably the best intraday trading day in a long time here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Remember, for those of you that are new, that are checking us out, we have a swing trade investor area of the website in the moneystocks.com and that's the research center that's a service we provide to research center members which encompasses investors and swing traders where we give out swing trade alerts we give out analysis proprietary guidance we teach you our methods that work x and so forth and again there's a seven day free trial for that if you're a day trader guess what we have something for you as well, the intraday stock chat, which is where I was all morning this morning, and I'll be back on the microphone this afternoon taking over for my business partner, and we will be calling out winning trades for our members and discussing the markets there. All right, again, markets are inching back up towards the highs of the day. Good resistance up here. We'll see if we can get through it now. Uh, if you head higher on the markets, you're going to be going to this gap fill right here, which will be a no-brainer short. If you get up here, this is going to be a good intraday short on the SPY, and that's at around the 136.80 level, 136.80. I repeat. Taking a look at some stocks today, Goldman Sachs reported earnings this morning. The stock initially fell sharply. We scalped it a couple times today. It was a beautiful scalp, in fact, and sure enough, the big level on Goldman Sachs. There were a couple levels that I scalped today. Uh, one was this little pivot top here, and then gap fill. Both were great scalps. Look at the bounce off of gap fill here, guys. Here's your gap fill line. You come down, you pierce it, touch the 50 MA right here, and then look at the bounce all the way back up. I mean, that is a sizable scalp, a good chunk of change right there to be made. In any case, Goldman off of this drop is actually making a bearish pattern, which is not good for the overall market. But right now, again, with Options X, the market seem to be holding up. But again, Goldman Sachs' pattern is actually slightly on the bearish side right now from this move down and then in spirit of bearish consolidation. If it breaks this 50 on a closing basis, good night, Goldman Sachs. It goes lower. All right, so that's something interesting to watch. JPM was a wild ride today as well. Look at the sell-off early this morning. A one, two, three, four-bar surge dropping dramatically here. And then take a look. You came right into these. See this little pivot right here, this area? That's where the low was in the market. JPM has since reversed. Now, JPM is actually slightly bearish too. As you can see, sharp down move sideways inside bars. Although, again, if it gets above on a closing basis and holds above these moving averages, it, you have to kind of discount it a little bit there. Apple, even when the market was selling sharply today, Apple was only down a dollar or two. Uh, since then, it's come back to the positive side. It's really not a big mover today. You know, it's been down a couple bucks, been up a couple bucks. That's the extent of Apple today. Not a big player. All eyes are on Intel after the bell. Intel reports earnings. Let's take a look at Intel here. Intel's rallying, so that's telling you that the market is factoring in better than expected earnings from Intel. Does not mean that they're going to have and move up on earnings, though. I want to warn you about this. Most amateurs and just flat out you know, ridiculous thinking traders 
will think that a stock rallying up into earnings means it's going to go higher. That's not the case. That's about 50. There's a 50-50 chance of that only. Not worth a trade in my book. All right. Can it go up? Absolutely it can. But what can also happen, which is what usually happens, the stock rallies up into earnings and then that raises expectations. And when the stock only meets those raised expectations, even though it beats analyst estimates, the stock can sometimes come back in. So it'll be interesting to see how Intel performs here after the bell on earnings. Facebook continuing to get rattled here, folks. Yesterday was an ugly day on Facebook. Today, another down day on Facebook. Um, we made money on this by buying around 27 last time, riding it to about 33. I have no intention of buying it again until it gets down to about 20 bucks, which it will do at some point all right um chinese stocks have been hammered i have this was another scalp trade today guys just amazing scalp trades this was the level guys we gave out to the chat room right here how would you like to have bought baidu today b-i-d-u at this level look at the reversal why did we buy it there well, if you go to your daily chart you clearly have oh what a great bottoming tail on the daily chart look at this little pivot right here see that pivot low 100 even number pierce, you obviously buy it at the 100 even number pierce, enough said. Profits in your pocket. Oh man, there were some great money making trades today, guys. Great day in trading. I love the volatility. Volatility is what makes us as traders just enjoy life and make money. Assuming you know what you're doing, of course, which you will if you're at inthemoneystocks.com. Uh, what else do we want to just discuss here? Amazon's up slightly, Google's up slightly, Chevron Exxon's up slightly, JPM's still down, Goldman's up. I mean, you know, for the most part... We're slightly higher on the day. IBM's lagging a little bit down 10 cents. Um, other than that, that's about it, folks. I mean, bottom line is, if we go back to the SPY, you're just kind of looking to see where this market puts in a top. I mean, right now, it's kind of struggling at this resistance area up here. Um, if it breaks through, which it's consolidating in a bullish manner here, so it could go a little bit higher at some point. If it does, then your gap fill at the 130. Where's the gap fill? Let's take a look right here. Gap fill 136.80-ish area is going to be next resistance. If it can't break through this blue line, then it could fall decently into the end of the day, and we'll watch that very closely. Again, Intel earnings after the bell today will be the big one. Yahoo also reports, as well as Win Win Resorts also reports. All right. I think that's about it for today, folks. Have a great evening. Come join us here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Take your seven-day free trial today and start profiting with the pros.